canine officers lined the street outside of the Yarmouth Police Department to salute Sergeant Gannon. Of course, Gannon's canine partner Nero was wounded in last week's shooting and is still recovering tonight. WBZ's Christina Hager has more on the outpouring of support from police officers from all across the country. When Officer Sean Gannon's family looked out from their corner of unthinkable grief, this is what they saw. A field of uniforms. Dallas, Aurora, Illinois, Truro, Boston, Stamford, Connecticut, Everett, MIT, Chicago. From Lebanon, New Hampshire, Officer Nick Alden says it could have been him who didn't come home that day. Every day starts the same and you never know what you're going to get. Something Auburn police have seen all too close up. Officer Ronald Tarantino killed during a traffic stop in 2016. Auburn had these stickers made for Yarmouth. Another beloved officer lost to similar circumstances. Some anger, honestly, about that, you know, where, you know, disappointment where we, we feel like we haven't learned anything in two years. Several miles away, a line of Gannon's fellow canine officers watched the procession past the Yarmouth police station, while Officer Ronette Benjamin, here from New York City, explained the ceremonial show is what gets them through the lowest lows of an increasingly stressful job. If the shoe was on the other foot and I was in that casket and Officer Gann Gannon had to come to the funeral, he would come and stand out here to show his respect as, as you know, we normally do. In Yarmouth, Christina Hager, WBZ News. As Sergeant Sean Gannon's canine partner recovers, as the case against his accused killer goes forward. Stay with WBZ for the very latest information. Paula.